Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Well today we are going to talk about these little frames that we did up. You could make them into ornaments, jewelry, whatever you would like to do, put the little photographs in them and hang them up. I used to just use microscope size and just solder around them and solder a jump ring on and decorate the glass and that was really fun. But I had gotten a bunch of these. And this is so much easier because you just open a flip on the side, fill whatever you want on your, in the inside of the glass and close it up. So let's get started. So these are what I carry, but I think at any craft store you can find something like this. So you actually have a little side piece here that you just pick up. So you just pull this up and you just slide this out and you open this up pull your sheets of glass out carefully. You don't want to like bend your metal back and forth so you break it. Pull this out and you have two pieces of glass. Now we're gonna decorate the glass. So on this one right here, I'm gonna use some paper and transfers, but over here, what I had done is I used a light color transfer in the background, and then I just pieced a flower and some words over the top. This one has a light piece of transfer, and I added some words, and then I took some fun images I had, miniature images, and cut them out and put them in here. So anything you want to use, really anything, is possible. Depending on what it is, you can even put some dried flowers in between the glass. But for this one, I'm gonna glue this on here, but if you didn't even wanna glue it, you could just cut it perfectly, put your transfer on the paper, and if you wanted to switch it out, you could put something else in between the glass if you didn't glue it down. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this side. So this is just a decoupage glue. It doesn't matter what type of glue, you can even use a glue stick if you want it. And what I'm gonna do is just sand the edge carefully because it is glass. And this part is going to be the inside. This is what I'm gonna sandwich into the center. I took a few little flowers I had and I think I'm gonna cut them apart and lay them on here. So even when you're transferring, you wanna just take notice that you are doing this on glass, so be careful how much pressure you put. Now, all we have to do is just layer these. This background has such pretty script behind it. I think that's just gorgeous the way it is, and I really love how the wax, the clear wax, just darkens that paper. So the next thing we're gonna do is do something with the frame. So what I am using, it's called N-O-V-A-C-A-N, Novacan, and it is a black pantina for solder and lead. I believe you can get it on Amazon. I'm trying to remember where I got it, but I will look and put it on my favorite things. But you may be able to find it um, at a hardware store. And what this is, it really is cool, but you really want to be careful when using. I find that when I use it, like the sponge, I would only ever use for this or whatever I'm using, I throw it away. It is toxic. You know, if you're sensitive at all, you want to wear heavy duty rubber gloves. This will uh, uh, instantly turn any metal a dark tarnish. But if it's not metal, because I've had things I thought were metal, and they weren't because they didn't tarnish. But you'll see instantly, I'm just going to coat this. You can see it probably even right now starting to tarnish. Everywhere the liquid is, it is getting very, very dark. I love it because it's just, once again, this is so fast and easy. The frames are already done. The glass is simple. And if you want it to look old, you just put this on. I'm gonna let this set just for like a minute or two and you're gonna see how nice and dark this is gonna look. Now that's about as easy as you get. Here's one that was just solid silver. Here's one I had tarnished earlier and wiped down. This is the one we're doing right now, so you can see quite a difference. So this is nice and you know, a dark pantina. So all I'm gonna do is carefully slide this open, slide the two pieces of glass. Have to put it through the little slot there. Bring it down, and there you go, isn't that pretty? So now let's do one with some copper on the frame. So I think 
On this one, I want to use some copper, but I want to do something a little more Christmassy. And this is our uh, Christmas transfer, but any cute little miniature image you find, you can use. So what I did is laid this on here and just drew this around. Carefully cut this. So what I'm first going to do is just glue this down like we did on the other one. And this is a very lightweight tissue paper. So now we're going to paint our frame and I'm going to use this copper paint. This is a DIY paint and it's called Pennies from Heaven. But you could use any color you want. I just wanted to try this color and see what it looked like. And it might need a couple coats. So I put a couple coats on here and then I thought I'm just going to try this and I'm putting some of the um, patina, that liquid patina over the top and I'm going to get a little bit of black coming through the copper and I think that looks really, really cool. Do the other side. You definitely want to wait till your paint is dry. Let's let this dry then we'll put our glass inside. Guys, look at this. Didn't it turn out pretty? I put this inside the glass. And you can see the copper. You can see where I did just the pantina. Pantina over the copper and just the plain silver. But look, they're all so completely different and you could add anything inside you'd like and get a completely different look with just the same item. So after we've got all our pieces done, you can see the different effects we're getting. Look at that, isn't that just so pretty? It matches my shirt, the color of this. But you can see they were all so different. And then now you just have to decide if you're gonna use a ball chain, fabric, sari silk, or whatever you'd like to do to hang it with. We were even thinking if you wanted to use a shadow box, you could paint that and do four of them and make a cute little gallery wall. But whatever you do, have fun.